The history of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea is the history of single-minded unity in which the Korean army and people have emerged victorious with indomitable mental power under the guidance of President Kim Il-sung and leader Kim Jong-il. Those historic days witnessed many mass parades demonstrating the superiority of socialism and its invincibility. Victorious is the Democratic People's Republic of Korea in single-minded unity. Advancing under the wise guidance of leader Kim Jong-il, chairman of the National Defense Commission of the DPRK, the Korean people today are looking back with deep emotion upon the exploits of President Kim Il-sung, the founder of the DPRK. <music> President Kim Il-sung opened a new phase of the building of people-centered socialist state in Korea. In September 1948, Filled with the joy of having him acclaimed as the first head of the independent and sovereign state, Pyongyang citizens marched the streets in Pyongyang. They did not forget the sorrowful days when they had been deprived of the country by the Japanese imperialists and reduced to a ruined nation. Korean patriots shed much blood. The righteous volunteers army and the Independence Army fought with arms in their hands. But they were trampled underfoot by the aggressors miserably because they had not a genuine leader. In the dark days, President Kim Il-sung in his teens formed a revolutionary organization against the Japanese imperialists and united broad masses with an aim to build socialism with united strength of the whole nation and thus make all people well off. With the concept that revolution is unity and unity is revolution, the young communists held up President Kim Il-sung as the center of leadership and fought the Japanese imperialists with the strength of single-minded unity. The noble will of President Kim Il-sung to establish the people's power is embodied in the People's Revolutionary Government set up during the anti-Japanese armed struggle. Having 
returned home in triumph after the country's liberation, he called on the welcoming crowds to unite. The time has come for people to pull strength, to build a rich, independent and sovereign state. Let those with strength give strength, those with knowledge give knowledge, and those with money give money. Believing in the people who had been exploited and oppressed in the past, President Kim Il-sung pushed ahead with the general ideological mobilization movement for nation building and democratic reforms. The president provided a strong military basis for founding a republic. The joy of having acclaimed Kim Il-sung, the liberator of the nation, as the first deputy of the people, is flowing in the parade procession to celebrate the founding of the DPRK. The procession is overflowing with the honor of having held General Kim Il-sung in his 30s in high esteem as the leader of the nation. For the first time in the several thousand year long history of Korea, he established a new society in which the people were masters. The founding of the Democratic People's Republic of Korea was a historic event demonstrating the will of the Korean people to unite firmly around President Kim Il-sung. Amid the emulation-spirited drives for the increased production, the first molten iron flowed, the first homemade ship sailed to the sea, and the song of General Kim Il-sung was created in reflection of the adoration for President Kim Il-sung. During the trying days of the war triggered off by the U.S. imperialists, President Kim Il-sung called the army and the people to turn out for victory, and the people rose up like a mountain. In the resolute days to defend the dignity of the Republic, the soldiers of the People's Army displayed unrivaled spirit of devotion with a firm belief in President Kim Il-sung. Living in the ruined country and liberated country, the soldiers had deeply felt the preciousness of the leader and so they turned out in the final decisive battle, loudly shouting, Long live General Kim Il-sung! days of ordeals, President Kim Il-sung shared his joys and sorrows with the people to form a harmonious whole, and enforced benevolent policies for the people, thereby giving invincible strength and courage to the soldiers. Indeed, the destiny of the war in Korea depended on the indomitable mental power of the army and the people who were united single-mindedly only around the leader.
the historic victory in the Fatherland Liberation War was a brilliant fruition of the far-sighted wisdom, unparalleled pluck and courage, and the distinguished art of leadership of President Kim Il-sung. It was also a shining victory of the unity of the army and the people. The three years of war clearly proved that united around the leader, a country and nation can safeguard its destiny and win victory. In the difficult days after the war, when there were left only ashes, President Kim Il-sung found himself always among the people to bring their inexhaustible strength into full play. He put forward the basic line of socialist economic construction to give priority to the development of heavy industry simultaneously with the development of light industry and agriculture and other policies. All the lines and policies emerged victorious under the support of the people. When the internal and external situation was rigorous, the president was encouraged by simple words of an ordinary old woman of a rural village and visited the working class at Kangsan Steel Works and said warmly, I believe in you and you believe in me and so let us break through the prevailing trial of revolution. Though impossibility was greater than possibility, the working class kindled the flames of upsurge in the spirit of Chulima, a winged horse of Korea which is said to fly 1,000 ri at a spur. The people in the Tulima era devoted their all for the collective and comrades under the leadership of President Kim Il-sung. The working class of Korea overcame trials and created miracles of the pride of being the builders of socialism. These products of self-reliance were made with the confidence that one's own strength and spirit are the best. Looking back upon the historical themes, people think With the might of the single-minded unity of the leader, the party and the popular masses, the Korean people beat the so-called omnipotent U.S. in the war and completed the historic cause of industrialization in 14 years, thus building a powerful socialist state of independence, self-sufficiency and self-reliant defense. In September 1958, Pyongyang City Mass Parade was held to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the DPRK. The demonstrators vigorously marched with the pride of victors in establishing Korean-style socialist system. The Tulima era evidently showed the world what a surprising turn of destiny a country and nation can bring about when they have a great leader.
the Tolima era produced the people with beautiful hearts who devoted their blood, flesh and everything for others. The 1950s after the war were a decade of heroic struggle in which the history of the DPRK recorded the truth that unity is national strength and national sovereignty. In the 1960s, when there was held the 4th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea, the Korean people more firmly believed and followed President Kim Il-sung. Always sharing sweet and bitters with the people, the President called for greater innovations to create historic miracles. Mass parades in different parts of the country were scenes of single-minded unity, fully showing the unbreakable determination of the Korean people to unshakably pave the way of socialism of Chuche. In the rigorous situation caused by the U.S. Pueblo incident, Korea solemnly declared that it would retaliate for retaliation of the U.S. imperialists and return all-out war for all-out war. The world was struck with admiration. Korea, which held up leader Kim Jong-il, a general in his 20s together with President Kim Il-sung on the road of song leadership, was not afraid of any formidable enemy. To answer the provocation of the U.S. imperialists with merciless punishment, was the response of the still strong single-minded unity of Korea around the party and leader. <music> Having showed Korea's mettle all over the world once again, the Korean army and people significantly commemorated the 20th anniversary of the Republic saying that the line of carrying on the economic construction and defense of building abreast is a principled problem on the stance and metal of the Korean revolutionaries towards the war moves of the U.S. imperialists. 
President Kim Il-sung called for pushing ahead with economic construction 100% and the defense upbuilding also 100%. The decade was days of the bold decision and the outstanding Songun revolutionary leadership of leader Kim Jong Il. Under the leadership of President Kim Il Sung, the Korean people brought about a leap forward to a powerful socialist nation with a single-minded unity achieved by their unyielding mental power. With a rifle in one hand and a hammer or sickle in the other, the Korean army and people firmly safeguarded the dignity and national power of the republic, and thus further glorified the 1970s with the might of single-minded unity. In the 1970s, Korea acclaimed leader Kim Jong-il as the core of unity and leadership, thereby firmly solidifying the unity and cohesion of the revolutionary ranks provided by President Kim Il-sung in the early years of the Korean Revolution and announced them onto a new high plane. The Korean people turned out to carry through the decision of the 5th Congress of the Workers' Party of Korea and vigorously conducted grand socialist construction campaigns. The years were a decade of creation which gave rise to great innovations in all sectors of the grand socialist construction. thousand machine tools were produced and the large long-distance conveyor belt in Undur stretched into the rough sea. The 1970s were an age of prosperity that sang of renaissance of the 20th century and brought about dynamic revolution in literature and arts. The one million strong mass parade to celebrate the 30th anniversary of the Republic demonstrated all over the world the might of the Republic united firmly in ideological purpose and moral obligation. In the 1970s, the issue of successor to leader was solved perfectly. It meant a great heyday of the era of the Workers' Party of Korea.
When the world was suffering from agricultural and food crisis due to the abnormal weather, President Kim Il-sung became commander of the agricultural front and brought about bumper crops on this land. President Kim Il-sung established the people-centered socialist system in which the popular masses are the masters of all things and everything of society serves the masses of people. In the 1980s, Many monumental structures of the era were erected in Korea to convey the revolutionary exploits of President Kim Il-sung forever. The 1980s were a decade of leap forward which created the new 80s speed in the revolution and construction. There was built the world-startling West Sea Barrage. Pyongyang City Mass Parade in September 1988 to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Republic. In the days when capitalism was restored in some socialist countries, and thus the socialist cause was undergoing ordeals, the Korean people held the red flag high and consolidated the government of the Republic as a political weapon of revolution and construction. Whenever the revolution was faced with difficult situation, President Kim Il-sung and leader Kim Jong-il formed an integral whole with the people to turn adversity into prosperity and misfortune into blessing. The DPRK, founded by President Kim Il-sung, established the pillar of revolution with Juche, glorified the dignity of the nation with independence, achieved the country's prosperity with self-sufficiency, and defended socialism with self-reliant defense. The mass parade to celebrate the 40th anniversary of the Republic marked a historic occasion to show that Korea would endlessly prosper under the guidance of leader Kim Jong-il.
The appointment of leader Kim Jong-il as Supreme Commander of the Korean People's Army is an outstanding exploit performed by President Kim Il-sung to settle fundamental problems for the eternal basis of the building of a powerful nation and the single-minded unity. The election of leader Kim Jong-il as chairman of the National Defense Commission of the DPRK was an extraordinary foresight of President Kim Il-sung to teach the truth of history on what should be maintained to make the republic powerful. Having lost President Kim Il-sung, the father of Socialist Korea, unexpectedly, the whole of Korea was in grief. In those days, leader Kim Jong-il firmly decided to take single-minded unity as the mainstay of revolution, true to the instruction of President Kim Il-sung, and advanced Korean socialism without hesitation. In support of leader Kim Jong-il's appeal to fight for making our country rich and powerful with one mind and will, all people were united firmly. The preface to the socialist constitution is bearing the will of the Korean army and people to hold President Kim Il-sung in high esteem as the eternal president, the only president in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea's history. The noble will of leader Kim Jong-il to uphold President Kim Il-sung invariably and make the history of the president flow forever created a new history of revolutionary unity. Under his noble intention, bronze statues of President Kim Il-sung and monuments bearing his letters were erected across the country, and there was unfolded the true scene of single-minded unity of the army and the people to invariably believe in and follow only their leader. The day of election to power organs showed the might of the firm harmonious whole of the leader and people. Implanting in the hearts of the army and the people the truth that the people's power can be safeguarded only by a powerful armed force, leader Kim Jong-il voted for a serviceman deputy candidate. That day, leader Kim Jong-il met the serviceman deputy. People say leader Kim Jong-il's voting together with servicemen was a manifestation of his confidence and will to grip the people's army as a pillar of revolution and its main force, and relying on it, demonstrate the dignity and might of the Republic. With a view to adding luster to the Republic, the legacy of President Kim Il-sung as a powerful country of single-minded unity, leader Kim Jong-il did his utmost on the road of sung oriented leadership. In the teeth of rigorous trials, the brilliant commander for Songun politics Kim Jong-il, the general of Korea, 
continued the forced march in a guerrilla manner. In the trying days, leader Kim Jong-un resolutely kept Songun policy, declaring, I bear the responsibility for my country and my people. On the road of Songun, leader Kim Jong-un remembered eight brother officers. Believing in the truth of history, that as long as there is single-minded unity centered on leader Kim Jong-il, Korea can emerge ever victorious, and to safeguard leader Kim Jong-il is the greatest affair of Kim Il-sung nation, they took arms in the hands to resolutely defend leader Kim Jong-il. When they were faced with danger during the performance of their duty, the human bomb heroes exploded themselves, shouting, Long live General Kim Jong-il! They could end their last moment brilliantly with the belief that victory is sure to come if they follow leader Kim Jong-il. The heroes on Muze Peak sacrificed themselves in fire to rescue the trees bearing slogans praising the leader. Numerous families of soldiers set forth the words of the era of Songun revolution such as human rifle and bomb and resolute defense for the first time. And youth and children pledged to become 8 million human rifles and bombs. Under the national slogan calling for becoming 10 million human rifles and bombs, the army and people further strengthened their great unity. Already long ago, leader Kim Jong-il said that trust is precisely comrade and unity and loved his comrades infinitely. Between him and his priceless revolution soldiers, there were produced many exciting stories and comradeship. In order to bring to life an ordinary singer of the merited state chorus, leader Kim Jong-il had taken medical steps to the end through a direct telephone service and then saw to it that he, along with his father, was laid in state at the Patriotic Martyr Cemetery so that he could enjoy an eternal life. The comradely trust of leader Kim Jong-il enables the history of single-minded unity of Songun Korea to continue without let-up.
The DPRK greeted its 50th founding anniversary with great successes in the building of a great, prosperous and powerful nation. People remembered in deep emotion how Korea rose again from the bitter sorrow after losing President Kim Il-sung. Leader Kim Jong-il clarified the unique principle of Sungun politics, that the army is the party, the state and the people, and glorified Korea as a political and ideological power and military power. By defining the People's Army as the pivotal force of single-minded unity, Leader Kim Jong-il realized a great army-people unity based on the unity of the army and the people in idea and fighting traits. The whole nation highly respect him as their father. Korea is changing her looks day by day in the history of harmonious whole in which the mutual trust between the people and the party is the secret of all victories. People unanimously hoped that they would greet leader Kim Jong-il at their changed workplaces. Yearning for leader Kim Jong-il, the people earnestly wished to see him. It was indeed the real feature of socialist Korea, where the people share idea, will, mind and breath with their leader. The historic June 15 Inter-Korean Joint Declaration unfolded miraculous events, including the repatriation of unconverted long-term prisoners in South Korea. It was also a brilliant fruition of the might of the single-minded unity of Korea. Thanks to the guidance of leader Kim Jong-il, 
the Korean nation could begin to open a new era of reunification hand in hand. Seeing the mass parade in Korea, foreigners said, Single-minded unity is the feature of Korea, the pride of Korea, and the might of Korea, led by Kim Jong-il, the heaven-born great man. No force in the world can break the single-minded unity of Korea. And boys of independence, peace, and friendship are coming in a stream, and the cause of unity of anti-imperialist independent forces is advancing with a greater vitality. All the Korean army people are united as one around the leader Kim Jong-il, enabling Korean socialism to emerge victorious. The single-minded unity of Korea is Songun revolutionary unity based on the Songun idea of President Kim Il-sung and the leader Kim Jong-il. The integrity of idea and confidence of the party, the army and the people is a new feature of great unity in the Songun era. The brilliant commander for Songun politics, Kim Jong-il, brought about the dawn of a great, prosperous and powerful nation with the unbreakable Songun revolutionary unity and great unity of all army and the people. The people offer their best wishes to him. socialism are all possible under the guidance of prominent leader. Single-minded unity produces the greatest national power and makes it possible to build a great, prosperous and powerful nation. No matter how the world may change and how often they may be faced with severe trials, the Korean army and people will further add brilliance to the history of single-minded unity and victory, holding Kim Il-sung in high esteem as their eternal president and under the guidance of leader Kim Jong-il. Long live! the glorious Democratic People's Republic of Korea. <laughs>